they also good luck in my thoughts. In theory, not actually in my thoughts as a voice, but in myself. I like to think that everyone who was still with me went good luck as I went for this final Beverati on the cusp of Armageddon. You see, when it comes to the slaughtering of a myriad of sinners, there are only so many ways you can go. You know? You can either adopt bellicose strategies and really try to wipe out a load of the enemy. Or you can just sit back and watch the nonsense of morons unfold. I think this is evident as to what I've been talking about now for some time. It is clear on the precipice of destruction en masse, the likes of which has never been seen before. And I won't allow it. I will not allow it. I am a genius. I know this. I've always known I'm a genius. But I never put in much effort because I was a genius who, who was such a genius he didn't really care. And that was my error. Care is of the angels. The higher species. The divinity. Incumbent in various archetypes of reality throughout religious history and the knowledge that we have imbued into the holy tapestries. Gabriel was one angel. And there, was a, there were others. But that's not the point of this diatribe. The point of this diatribe is to save the world from World War Three. Now I know what you're thinking. It can't be done, it can't be done. Well, it can be done, and I'm going to do it tonight, you morons of murderous ill decision and crappy ideology. I'll show you a way. I'm going to show you a way to solve every problem in your face forever. Do you get me? Good. Let's progress. Right. Firstly, God is not a racist, but evil seeps into all cultures. That's the true complexity. And morons 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 and thus label people iniquitous, often en masse in a fearful base tribal gathering, for want of a word, somehow more intelligent than other tribal gatherings if they have access to intelligence to possess superior weaponry and the wherewithal to make such weaponry 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 uh, but nevertheless never more this is what we have this is the situation we have a major problem with cultists of an ideological cult from a foreign agenda who think in some delusional haphazard way of ancient frenzy that their bollocks is more manifest totem to truth than our bollocks which is not obviously the reality because they're both bollocks because no human can render the actuality of divinity at the level the divinity requires to be divine it's simply implausible to any religious advocate that they can possess the knowledge and truth of an all-knowing God called Jah. And Rastafarians don't ever claim to be God. They, they know God, but they don't claim to be God. And that's because they're not stupid. Well, I knew one who was. Eric Loazzo is the right idiot. But then, no, I met, I've met some good um, Rastafarians. And in the Seychelles, I met three, a trio of lovely rasters who guided me the way to secure some whatever I had needed on the holiday to cope and calm and find my merry whimsy. 
And I met those two wrestlers in the supermarket in some small town in the Seychelles. On a very blessed holiday, I was most gracious to experience back in 2016. And I haven't had a holiday since, so I realised I don't like travelling. I'm asthmatic. I'm schizophrenic. Travelling, going out, is fucking a nightmare. Why would I bring that upon myself willingly? I don't know. But you may ask yourself, what do you do? Well, I sit in my flat alone a lot of the time talking to a computer. And I love every genius second of it compared to dealing with the mortals of ignorance who aren't enlightened. They're really not. They think they are and talk shit, but they're not. I am enlightened. And not everything I say is bollocks. Some of it runs deep into the thread of ingenious humanity of Eternia. But try telling that to the fucking vagrant chavs of absolute criminal mourners and who should be shot, frankly, for their approach to reality, given it's so decadent with bollocks. You know, who misses a dead chav? No one. Fucking morons. But the point is, what is the... Oh, yes. If the point is I need to open the beer. Fuck's sake. Here we go. Right, we're on it. So, World War Three is upon us in theory. But it's not. it's not. Is it? Is it? Well, no, nothing's too bad. Not yet. I mean, it may be in Ukraine, where our Zelensky hero is fighting an extraordinarily brave and good battle. We like Zelensky. Very brave man. He used to be a comedian. He started out as a comedian. And then he had to become a saviour of his people in war. Can you imagine that? I can't easily. I'd have no idea what to do. I'd be lost like a little puppy in a forest of fear. But I must rescue the damsel from distress. Should I find her chained to a tree and being lacerated by the shards and the knives of enemy f scum, for want of a word. But no, we were all lost in this ticket to Ukrainian theorem. But maybe that was the best place to be. Equanimity Deluxe. I got everything I wanted tonight. I walked a long distance for one beer. But all I wanted after tonight's final higher moment compared to the days of woe I've suffered was one more beer for the, for the Betty Bobos. And I got it. Thanks to Tesco's and their brilliant strategy of feeding the community with awesome food. I love Tesco's. They say every little helps. I completely agree. But the point, as a matter. Oh, that was a joke. That was a joke. No, I can't speak normally. The, po the point of the matter is that technically one of my friends is holier than much of the clergy because the Pope a few years ago was um, alleged to have admitted that even the clergy watch porn online. And I know my good friend, Pope Pats, does not watch porn. He doesn't watch it. He's not interested in filth. He's a fucking hero. He flew planes, passenger jets of people around the world and enjoyed it and got bored of it in the end. And just thought, first I'm bored and I'm do something else. He's an amazing human being. Oh, he had a haircut recently. I'm not sure about the haircut. But we'll see where it takes him. I think it's a bit... Right wing, but see the thing about Percy, he was always the bravest, but he was never the smartest. But that doesn't matter, he was brave. Sometimes bravery is better than being smart, you know. So, both together, they're fucking awesome, and that's why we make such a great team. Because Putsy, Pope Putsy, is a ledge, and I love him, and I adore him. I've never been gay. But Putsy is a brother in arms. And I adore Pope Putsy. Because love is the essence of God. 
I don't think love, for, from a religious point of view, under God, has anything to do with smutteratus. You know, grim shit. Fucking people up the arse and that sort of horror. I've never done it intentionally. There were a couple of missed strikes, but never intentionally. Because it's just grim, isn't it? I mean, fucking disgusting. You're mental to enjoy that sort of filth. And I don't understand why any man would want to place his creational Johnson into the anus of someone else. Because I think that is hideous, vile, damnable, all these things. I don't, I've never seen the allure in that. I've seen the allure in war, if I'm honest. But I'd soon get shot. I found more beneficial nature in the notion of peace and harmony between all human beings, no matter their agenda, right? Because actually, on the internet, it's fucking Armageddon shit fest, everyone's going to die of hell and Satan and bollocks, right? But in reality, everyone's a fucking timid coward, more or less. And that's the dichotomy we're dealing with now. It's just basically you're all a bunch of cunts. But with the love of God, and I know he loves you, we have something more. We have creation. We have existence. We have breath. And I say this as a man, as an asthmatic who has smoked for 30 years and loves his jays. I don't think my life was shit. I didn't like dealing with people because they always cause drama, but my giggles, oh heaven's sakes, my giggles. When I realised the space-time frequency of all time, I looked deep, objectively, into reality at the conscious level that I was adopting, at high-speed post-LSD gradients of mind velocity that are out of whack with your muggles, well, I was Top Gun Uber, and that's what scared me. Too powerful. I never wanted to be the uber-powerful guy. It even says it in my Chinese horoscope, where I was the year of the tiger, not the rabbit. Even though I was born in 1975, which is technically the year of the rabbit in Chinese, you got to remember that the Chinese New Year is not the same as the Gregorian calendar. And thus, I was born in January 7th, which is also the day of the Messiah in the Russian Orthodoxy Church. So I'm a, I'm a Messianic Christian, Illuminatus, Jedi, Rastafarian, Tiger. And I'm very happy about that because I really enjoy being me when I'm in the zone. When I'm not in the zone, it sucks being me and I hate it and I'd rather die and I'd probably stream myself up on the M25 or something. But when I'm in my zone of finding every value of love that the Lord affords us, in every little moment of just dilated pupils and good flowing chemistry and a peaceful balance of physiological maintenance, well then, you, you know, I ain't complaining. I am not complaining. In fact, if I had to make a complaint about anything in this current Britain, it would be the extortionate price of cigarettes in the shops. And I'm not having it. So, you know, fuck that. But, I do love Great Britain. And I do love the world. I'm a steward of the world as best I can. And I don't go out there and cause too much mayhem. I never see violence. I think violence is crude, rude and damn right ugly. And all those who consider it a benevolence or a boon to their skills are moronic. Completely, wholeheartedly, and to their death under Satan. The breeder of lies and violence and ill good.
I've probably said too much for one night, gentlemen. For this, allow your tidings to be slumber. And let me reach into the pillow of solace. For the love of God is ubiquitous. And peace is universal. And so those who go against the peace, But that's just me saying that. Who am I? I'll tell you who I am. I'm the Abed Ninja. And I win World War Three before it's happened by being smarter than any of you. Because I'm blessed by God Himself with a halo. I basically maintain the divine protectorate of the reality of the universe under God the Immaculate, with Jesus' son divine history of yours so long ago. But we still hold the crumbs of his ancient witness. Love. Love will see us through. Peace. But love is the charge. Love is the energy. Love is the power. Love is the divinity. Love. Even Putin fears the power of an army of love. No, no. No, Putin. You're not going to defeat the god of love, buddy. Fuck off and behave. Stupid little knob. And that grubby little penfold character from North Korea? You're a shocker. Get down. Get down now. Because you're ugly and deranged and evil and stupid. And I will not have any of this nonsense on my planet anymore. Do you understand, children of the damned? Good. Go off now. And seek salvation in the name of Jesus Christ if you can. For heaven knows I did. And I did. And I did. And I've done. And I do. And that's that. Good luck everybody. It's been ace. Jibbing in my own underpants and that and that. I see this is it. You gotta remember the fluid capacity of actuality being delivered in reality at this level of gravity. Because if you didn't, I will believe it or know it or understand it at all. Well then you're a hairy wombat. And should be silenced and shut down by the system of intelligence. Because you're just a renegade to box, aren't you, fluffy bunny? And therein is a good example of how to just let go and express and be free in truth of the mind. There's nothing wrong with it. We're free to express our love. And that is divinity.